Hello gents, thought I'd just do a quick video update today um, for doing an army showcase. Uh, so what you can see in front of you is my Vietnam collection as it stands currently. Um, there's going to be a bit, a bit of shaky cam involved today, so apologies uh, f uh, for those who suffer from seasickness. Um, what's in front of you is my Mac V platoon. My Anzac platoon, and the bulk of it is a US Marine Corps platoon um, on what it would have, uh, which is the full organization. So what I'll do, I'll pop the camera down now, and I'll start in the back with the, uh, the Mac V platoon. All of these fingers here are by Gringo's 40. I've shown these over, over um, a couple of videos now. Very enjoyable figures to paint. Uh, Mac V for me, uh, which is Military Assistance Command, Vietnam, uh, is the most interesting part of the war. I mean, something I didn't know in my reading is um, they the Geneva Convention did not apply to them. If they were to be captured or caught, the American government would um, would deny all knowledge of um, of that person. Um, so a lot of the records, when it was disbanded in 1972, have been burnt. I've just read a fantastic book called um, Codenamed Dynamite, which is about a gentleman in, in Vietnam. He was in Mac V. Um, uh, I would highly, highly recommend you read it. It's the first of the book. I think he's said, said he's going to do three or four of them. Um, so I'd highly recommend reading it. Um, very enjoyable figures to paint. Um, they were a bit maverick some of the uh, the men I think you had to be to take on that kind of job there in Vietnam which is kind of denoted there um, by their headdress and some of the camo, camo uniform as well um, the Mac V uh, they tried to operate in ratios um, with what they called the indige um, so they would all try and operate with a larger proportion of um, Vietnamese soldiers than to American but of course as you can imagine um, with any of the reading we've done and those of you who served in the forces um, know that's not always the case so that's them uh, there's probably about say, another 10 or 15 figures to be added onto this um, they did operate in quite small patrols about seven men normally um, again read that book and it'll elaborate far better than I can so I'll just spin you around now in this part, oh, apologies about shaking out. And then to these chaps here, these are my Anzacs. There's a few more um, to add into this this part of the collection. I think there's another, I think there's another five or ten to go into here, just to flesh flesh out with a few um, weapons, platoons, and what have you. Uh, very enjoyable again to paint. These are by Empress. These figures. Um, again, I did quite a. Got, I wanted to get these through quite quickly, so they, they aren't some of my best painting. But again, still very enjoyable figures. Um, very good soldiers. Again, um, had their issues, especially at Long Tang, when they'd asked to come away um, from the American methodology of fighting and set up their own command, which was denied to them. Uh, a lot of these chaps had served in Malaya um, with the British in the uh, the local. The local forces there where it'd been a lot of targeted patrolling so it was uh, became quite difficult uh, for these chaps when the americans had initiated their um their kill ratios um and thought you could just bring the hammer down which uh, of course stood from where i'm sat um yeah it's just one of those things these things happen sometimes in conflict um but again very good soldiers and you know showed why the uh Showed them for what they are. Very, very good soldiers indeed. Okay. So now on to the weapons sections. Um, this is the my the meant to be six super bazookas. Um, for platoon kind of company support. Um, again, I only ordered five. I'm never going to use six. Um, again there. So... These were slowly faded out with the kind of induction of the law and things uh, where it could be a one man operated weapon, not two. Um, well, these were still still in um, in use. They would be used alongside with having a section of, say, 
the three men to offer support to gaming is probably very much like the M60. Um, so they're those. And these figures are by Gringo's 40. Get the focus there. Again, lovely figures. And moving around just into the back here is the mortar section. These are very, very straightforward to paint. Um, very, very nice figures by Gringo's 40. Oh, that one, of course, the one I pick up has decided to come loose. The mortar tube there. Um, okay, these were very quick and easy to paint. So yeah, pleased with those. And then just down here, you have the um, the M60 groupings. So how the M60s were deployed on paper, they were going to be uh, to have the ability to be moved and shift around as a kind of fire support section. That of course that wasn't always the case with kind of casualties and what you head out into the battlefield with. I very much doubt that a lot of this was um, was put into place. So you'd have one M60 and a section of three men um, to get them around and offer them a bit of support. One being a feeder and everything else there. So that's those. And then the final part of the video, sorry, apologies, last bit of shaky cam, are the three 14 man sections. We should have core, of course, be the core of the platoon. Um, each of them would have a corporal, a grenadier, and then four, three sections of four men armed with um, normally the M16 when it came in. Uh, some of them had Thompsons in the earlier part of the war as well as the carbine um, and I've modelled those accordingly. Uh, for example this chap here, he's got his grease gun. ready to shout at Private Pile for keeping a donut in his footlocker. So there we are. Uh, that's everything I've done so far. A very enjoyable part of this. Um, what have I got to add to this? Um, flesh out some more platoons. I've got my Arvin mechanized platoon to do as well. Um, and then what I'm probably going to do is in another video, I will show off the, um, the armored pool of what I have uh, for Vietnam so far and um, my expectations and what I plan to do in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.